Are you ready to learn how to use ChatGPT for organizing your life? If this is the first time on my channel, my name is Lian Lai. I run an AI-empowered virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines called 2XU, and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, so make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. When it comes to using ChatGPT, I've talked a lot about how to use it for work, how to organize your to-do lists, your tracking, whatever it is that I've talked about in the last couple of years, basically, now that I've been talking about ChatGPT. And I want to dive into how you can actually use it just for your life. If you just want to play around with it if you want to see how it works how you can fully utilize it I want to walk you through that process now I do have a course on how to use ChatGPT as a virtual assistant that can give you a more of a deep dive more than I've done here on my YouTube video so you guys can check that out in the description below but to get started if you haven't yet gone into ChatGPT this is basically what it looks like um, so there's going to be different ways that I'll walk you guys through we'll use what I call just one thread because this is for organizing your life however later on we might use different threads now a thread is basically a combination of there's a prompt and the response from chat gpt so that's what we'll basically do in this video is i'll walk you through different threads that you can use for different parts of your life and the prompts that you can use for them so the first thing is you can use chat tpt to start breaking down your goals now as of the date posting this video it's going to be very close to 2024 so i'm going to use chat gpt to start breaking down my goals so i'm just going to chat literally i have a goal to lift 200 kilograms uh in squats that's actually legitimately one of my goal uh by the end of the year break down my goals into actionable steps so here i asked ChatGPT for one of my goals just to help me out because i just need a little bit of guidance and uh i want to see how i can be able to do this so uh, here is assess your current strength you know what is your current rm for squat and basically right now i know i can lift about 70 kilos about more than my weight which is great um, so, you know, set intermediate goals, first do 150, 170, 185, creating a training schedule. So if you are overwhelmed, basically, with something that you really want to get done and you have no idea where to start, you can just ask ChatGPT to break down that goal for you or that outcome for you. I use this all the time when it comes to project management inside of my own business, but it's really cool to see it, basically, as you are trying to figure out what you do for yourself. Next is in the context of your goals, of course, you want to break it down into habits that you can actually do so you can actually achieve it. So we're going to have this in one thread. We're basically going to use the same page. We don't have to do it over and again. So uh, create my daily, weekly, and monthly routine to get to my goal. So let's say that uh, you're trying to figure out basically how one, how you can lift, or you might be trying to figure out like how you can get into reading more. You might be trying to figure out how to basically integrate some sort of habit. You can ask ChatGPT to break it down for you of how to make this easy for yourself. So here we have the daily routine of like make sure you're hydrated, consume breakfast, pre-workout nutrition, you know, midday, so on and so forth. So it makes it easier for you on how to actually take actionable steps to work towards your habits so you can work towards your goals. Next is we're going to ask ChatGPT, create a habit tracker for me so I can do all of this. Now, let's say you're using Google Spreadsheet for this, you're using Notion for this, you're using some sort of habit tracker for yourself so you can actually make sure that you are on pace. So it's just a quick way to just have ChatGPT break that down for you and then I'll ask it, can you make this into a table? So I'm just asking you to put it in table form. So again, it's easy for me to put it into spreadsheet or into Notion. So right now it's making it into a code. So you can edit actually. Can you make this in a table? So right here, it just made like a pretty quick table that you can just copy and paste, hopefully. So you have the date, the hydration, nutrition, basically the different habits that ChatGPT has set out that you can be able to do basically to be able to get to the goal that I want to be able to get. Next is you can use ChatGPT when it comes to your personal development. So if you are trying to develop a software skill let's say you're trying to become a better communicator a better leader you can use chat gpt basically to be able to help break that down for you so here we will you need to use a different thread so anytime that you click that it gives you basically a new thread i can show you guys like a lot of the other 
chats that I've used ChatGPT for. But it, since I'm going to be talking about a different topic, I'm going to use a whole new screen for it. So I just put in, I'm trying to develop my communication skills. What books or mentors can I follow slash read and give me a study plan I can follow in a week? So if you're trying to develop a certain skill within yourself, you can use ChatGPT basically as your personal development coach a little bit. So it's giving us, okay, day one to two, foundations of communication, reading how to influence and influence people, which is honestly my favorite book, uh, nonverbal communication. So it gives you different things that you can study and go through. Now, if you're not the type of person who can read a book in a day, then you can ask ChatGPT to adjust this, but it's a cool and easy way for you to start on your journey, basically, if you're feeling like you're not sure where to start, ChatGPT can get that for you. Next is you can use ChatGPT for when it comes to your journaling. So if you are trying to get back into journaling yourself, you're trying to make it into a habit, you can ask ChatGPT, can you create a quick journal I can do where I can capture thoughts like the five minute journal. Now I like the five minute journal because it's a really quick way, but it needs to have my meals tracked. So I'm making this up as I'm going, um, but I'm, you can make custom journal entries basically using ChatGPT. That'll make it easy for you. Now I use Notion for this. If you guys wanna sign up for Notion, you can use the link below, but basically you can just copy and paste this. And I've done this before is I'll copy and paste this and make this into a template on my Notion pages. So then I can easily just go along and just have this as every single day. So it's now just a save template on my Notion page. You have a couple of Notion templates as well that you guys can check out. But basically this is kind of just a quick, good way to be able to get started if you have no idea how to start journaling. Next is you can use ChatGPT for just planning your finances maybe. If you're trying to get to a certain goal, you can ask ChatGPT to help break it down for you. I won't go into more of a tutorial because it's very similar to what we've already done. So for example, for me in the early part of this year, I had the goal to move and I knew I had to save some money to get to it. So I asked ChatGPT even for ideas of other side gigs that I could do. Hence why I have the Notion templates to be able to build up basically my savings so I can move eventually now as I've moved into this place. Next is you can use ChatGPT as well for travel planning. Now, depending on what kind of ChatGPT if you have, the paid or the free, I still have the free so I can walk you guys through how to use it even without paying. But you can have ChatGPT plan out your travel, your itinerary. And as I'm posting, it can't yet actually book flights for you. It might have changed with the time you're looking at this, but right now it can't book flights for you. But if you're trying to create an itinerary, you can ask ChatGPT, hey, I'm going to, like, I did it actually earlier this year. Like, I'm going to Thailand for 14 days. What are the different things that I can do to check out that's more reasonable priced for me and hitting all of the museums I do want to hit. So it'll give you a pretty good itinerary that you can start hitting when you're traveling and going somewhere new. Next is you can also use it for physical organization. So let's say that for me, when I moved here, basically, I wanted to find a better way to organize a lot of my things and I had a lot of my things, basically. So I asked ChatGPT, hey, I have X, Y, and Z things. I have books. I have memories. I have travel keepsakes. How can I organize them better in a smaller space? So I asked ChatGPT that and you can do that as well. Just asking like, hey, I have X, Y, and Z. How can I organize it so it feels less cluttered around my home? So that's just a good way for you to run ideas through with ChatGPT. And of course, you can use ChatGPT as a way to develop a little bit of yourself Care. Now, I use this a lot as well when I need a little bit of a refresh, when I need a little bit of a reset. I ask ChatGPT what are different ways that I can, what's a small step that I can do right now to take care of myself better? And ChatGPT can give me a lot of really good suggestions from that. Please do keep in mind that ChatGPT is basically just a knowledge base that you can ask questions from. So never really take just what it is telling you. It's getting better, it's developing, but it can only be as customized as you ask it to. So I am looking forward to hearing what other ways you guys have used ChatGPT. Make sure to comment that below of like, what other ways have you used ChatGPT for your life? And of course, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to visit from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. If you guys have an amazing day, I'm with that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.